So I picked up another cape off of eBay from the same seller as before, GP slot, and I'll leave the link in the bottom for you to take a look at and order your own. So this is the uh, figure that I customized earlier, and the cape, it's okay, it's a nice sculpt, but I believe it really does limit the figure from having some more potential, and so I decided to replace it. It's just a big solid piece of plastic. But let me show you how to take this thing off. First, let's get rid of the head so we don't damage it because it is a custom head. Uh, it is uh, attached to the actual shoulder with glue. So I've already heated it. I still got to pry it off with a screwdriver to be careful not to tear the plastic underneath because it's more of a vinyl than a hard plastic. And it's just glued right here on the edge. Um, so just be careful to remove that plastic from the other. You're not going to be able to drill it because for one, it's soft. The other, it goes right into those uh, shoulder guards that uh, protect the, the hinge. So if you do drill it, you potentially drill through and ruin the actual shoulder pieces. And if you were to put the cape in through the hole that you've drilled, then you're going to provide an obstruction for the shoulder joints to be moving smoothly. So unfortunately you cannot drill it. The best thing to do here is to glue it. The nice thing is you don't have to cut out the cowl. You don't have to cut anything to do with the actual neck piece. You just have to remove the cape. There's a giant plug in the back where the cape goes into. That one is also glued in. And even by heating it up, it still takes a good while to remove it. You won't have to plug it up because you're not gonna be able to see it once you replace it with the new cape. If you wanted to, you could, but you're not gonna see it. So it's just extra work that you will end up doing for something that's not gonna be seen, unless you like looking at the back of the figure instead of the front. Even if you're going to photograph it, that cape is gonna cover everything and you're really not gonna see any mishaps that are on the back of the cape. So you just kind of tug and pull until you finally get it out of there. As you can see, it's one gigantic hole in the back that is going to be covered up by the cape very nicely. You're not going to notice it. So the cape that I bought, well, let me show you this first. This is our hunk of plastic that I attempted to uh, add some detail with some blue, but it just wasn't there for me. So I saw this cape and I was reluctant to get it because it was $25 and it seemed almost good to be true. And once it came in, um, yeah, this is really, really well made. I was really happy uh, how quick I got it. And at the same time, I was happy to see the craftsmanship on this because capes are actually very difficult to make. All that tiny sewing uh, on the hems and then adding the wire. This has a wire all the way around the edge, but what's even more intricate air the pleats it's incredibly pleated all the way through and the pleats are all even they are just on point they look really really good it's one piece material there is no backing to it but it it's very light it's thin and it is certainly um, a cape that falls just right when attached. So we're gonna attach it with glue to the same point where the glue was before. You really don't have much choice. If we go any further, you're gonna hinder the movement and you're going to see the glue spots. So we're just gonna recover those glue spots with the same uh, technique. And what I'm gonna be using is the E6000 uh, 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 fabric glue. It's more of a gel, so it's not gonna drip or uh, drip over to any part of the, the figure. It's going to stay right where you put it. So the best thing to do is to remove the arms because we're going to have to clamp those ends down to be able to have it dry properly. So here's our E6000. Now you can apply it directly because it is a gel. It's not going to drip. Or you can use an applicator, a popsicle stick, a flathead screwdriver. Just don't use your hands just because it's going to go all over the, the figure if you're going to be handling it. So once you attach, or basically you can attach the actual cape, 
There's only two points. It's not that difficult, but you gotta use some clamps. Oh, there he goes. Let's try another one. Um, these are the closest ones I had at hand. They could use smaller ones, but these have enough pressure to hold it. So I clamped it and then I just let it dry overnight. And in the morning, it was done. It was there. Um, it doesn't require any more than that. And once it's dry, you can manipulate it however you want. And you can already see, and it's not even glued down, that the uh, cape just looks really dynamic. So I was going to show this to you as a finished piece on uh, my, my standard background, my brick background, but somebody wanted to see it on white, so I'll show it to you on white. Now this is a short video. This is pretty much as far as we're going to go uh, because it's not an extensive how-to video. It's just how to replace this cape that I bought on eBay. And We'll have another video later on a different uh, topic altogether, but for now, this is uh, somebody uh, wanted to see this because I posted the photo on Facebook and they wanted to see a tutorial how to replace this cape. Not a whole lot of science to it. You just gotta be daring, remove the cape, and replace it with this fabric cape. So I'm gonna leave you with some of the video. I know you want to see lots, so I took different angles because that way you can compare to what you have. I don't have the original one. I just don't do the comparisons that way uh, because it's not what we're focused on. We're focused on this cape and that big hunk of plastic in the back, you just can't compare it to this. It's just a totally night and day situation. Um, it's one or the other. You just have to make a choice. I like fabric capes. That's why I purchased this one and it totally changes it. But I want you to see how the figure looks when you place it in front of some of the actual vehicles. Uh, well, in this case, the Bat Raptor. So I'm gonna leave you with this segment of the finished product and the posability of this cape. If you like the video, please share it. Watch it over again. If you've got any questions, let me know. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, the button is there. Go ahead and subscribe. There's more videos coming. Now, before I let you go and see the rest of the video without me talking, I just wanted to have you take a close look at how the cape looks on the shoulders and how it covers. It, it's really, really good. It's actually fully dry now, obviously, and it just goes on that shoulder just fine. It just, just look at the pleats on this thing. It's just really, really well made. Every single pleat is... Um, calculated really well and it's a clean cut at the end there's no fraying whatsoever look at the hem very clean very straight um, it's definitely a lot better than what I do so uh, I'm definitely gonna keep buying capes from this guy to make my replacements I wish he had had a Robin cape for me but he didn't I had to make my own but any case uh, there's a few there on his uh, page I hope you scoop one up. If not, uh, put in a request for some more. Uh, he's got other stuff there, but these fabric capes really make a difference on your action figures. A whole different outcome.